Willie, the wedding song, and a little old group, Peter, Paul, and Mary. We're looking at uh, experiments in the STARS, the Space Technology and Research Student Boats Experiment. Uh, this is an international educational payload for students from six different countries develop biological experiments in order to promote an interest in scientific careers. We're seeing live downlink from Colombia of another run of the MEDEX experiment, the Mediterranean-Israeli dust experiment. This run's being done over the Mediterranean Sea, and it's looking for dust particulates, aerosols, uh, in the atmosphere uh, produced by dust storms over the Sahara Desert. These aerosols, or tiny particulates, impact the climate in ways not fully understood. This experiment is designed to gain information about their effect, whether, for example, they reflect or absorb heat from the sun, and just how they impact the hemisphere's climate. This is Mission Control Houston. You're looking at a live view of the payload bay in the Space Shuttle Columbia. You're looking at the Free Star Palette, where there are six experiments being done during this mission. In the bottom right corner of your screen, you'll see a silver canister with the NASA words on it, and that is the SEM experiment, the Space Experiments Module, which is holding 11 U.S. student experiments. The two canisters next to it are the CVX experiment, the critical viscosity of xenon, which is uh, studying physical processes of microgravity. Entitled East, West, and it's 
NKC, that's an excellent view. We appreciate you setting that up so the CM2 folks can watch this deintegration. John and the rest of the red team had a morning off, getting some well-deserved uh, rest and re recreation after um, spending seven days in space. Charlotte has spent her afternoon working with the laminar soot processes experiment, removing that from the combustion module in preparation for doing uh, the next uh, set of experiments to be done in that module, the softball experiment. Number seven. As you can see from this video, it's uh, much easier to get objects off the ceiling ahead, in space than it is here on Earth. The research double module is a uh, pressurized okay, aluminum uh, tank that's carried seven, in the space shuttle's cargo bay. It's approximately 20 feet long, 14 feet wide, and 11 feet high. The research double module is uh, connected to Columbia's mid-deck via a pressurized three access three tunnel. With a knob D reading of 686. Six. On STS-107, the research double module is carrying approximately 7,500 pounds of research payloads. Six days, three hours, 26 to six minutes, and the C reading was 443. Space Shuttle Columbia orbiting the Earth over the South Atlantic Ocean, moving into orbital nighttime. You're now looking at Mission Specialist Laurel Clark. Clark worked with a wide variety of experiments today, the bioreactor demonstration system, which is being used to grow cancer cells, and also an experiment being used to study uh, how bone cells lose their calcium in space, an osteoporosis experiment. Clark working at this point with one of the video cameras Clark also did some work with the vapor compression distillation experiment that will eventually be used aboard the International Space Station to turn uh, urine and wastewater into potable water, as well as working with the Astroculture Growth Chamber. You're looking at a view of the Earth's atmosphere as the Space Shuttle Columbia moves into orbital nighttime over the South Atlantic Ocean. And uh, Park Columbia, we'd like to pass on our thanks to Cindy Hutchins and the whole uh, Marshall Space Flight Center team. The uh, software works beautifully, and we hope they get some good data. And Laurel, VCD team really appreciates that and uh, wants to pass on their appreciation for the hard work that, that you and the rest of the crew have done for their experiment. 
This is Mission Control Houston. That was Mission Specialist Laurel Clark uh, giving kudos to the Marshall Space Flight Center team who developed the vapor compression distillation experiment, an experiment that may eventually end up in the International Space Station, turning uh, urine and wastewater into potable water.